Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be discussing bad landlords and the issues that tenants face when dealing with them. Some of these issues I personally had myself, so I totally get it how uh, frustrating it is. First problem, uh, one of the biggest problems that tenants face is the landlords neglecting necessary repairs. Uh, this can lead to dangerous living conditions such as electrical or plumbing issues that put the safety of the tenant at risk. Let's start off with this article of the Irish Times. Solid mattresses, rats, intimidation by fake police among tenant reports to the tribunal. So this image of a mattress is self-explanatory, it's disgusting. Um, cat droppings in the well and cat urine on the bed, like Jesus. Uh, some of the other appalling things, CCTV cameras that monitor the action of the tenants in the property like so if i'm maybe uh you know having a shower getting the rest or in the toilet well, am, I, am i gonna be washed by my landlord like come on um and then um, some excuses uh faking to be police to be for, for you know uh, to scare off the, the tenants um and then what's happening is that uh, sometimes the landlords um don't uh, return the, the deposits as well um and that's uh, another fear that tenants have uh so the deposit retention validity of notice of termination breach and obligation with issues most commonly arose now uh the news is covering quite a bit of these uh, tribunal reports um and then landlords uh, sometimes are caught uh, the issue here, I think, is that most tenants don't report it because we know how uh, bad the housing crisis is in Ireland. So there's very few properties available to rent. Those that are available are um, uh, very often at uh, very high rents and uh, those rents are not affordable for the average tenant. Um very common, yeah, this, the eating system is not fit for purpose. Uh, um, windows don't close properly. Mold uh, then uh, is usually around the um, the windows. I myself faced a few of these issues, uh, especially rats, uh, when I was living in a hold house. Um, rats uh, usually come in because the, uh, there are gaps in the walls. Uh, so because my landlord wasn't really uh, dealing with the issue I had to uh, myself uh, uh, find these gaps and fill the gaps and, uh, and then that, luckily that uh, resolved my issue um, most of the older properties also have uh, very poor insulations uh, the windows are not great either um, so um, I remember um, I had to put like some blankets on the window sometimes when it was very cold uh, because even if my heating was uh, on a full blast, it, did, it didn't really help. It was really cold. Um, I could I could see my, my own breath like, you know, in the, in the uh, I think in winter, in January, February. Um, again, um, more, more of these articles, as I said. Um, another problem is landers who carry out unlawful evictions. Uh, this can include turning off utilities, changing locks, or even forbidly removing tenants from the property. Um, now, what is this exactly? Uh, we know the eviction notices are now um, much longer than they used to be. So, landlords um, evicting the tenants may uh, um, need to be aware of it. Um, sometimes, what I've been reading in these articles, the ten um, landlords are. Uh, faking uh, uh, that they need a property for themselves or a family member or they need to sell the house and uh, this could be valid reasons uh, assuming that you give proper notice but uh, um, most of the time they are just uh, fake so the tenants then uh, find out uh, that those reasons are, are not the real reason the landlord want them out um, the um, this tenant here in the article of the Irish Times, despite giving 10 properties, he said he couldn't find alternative accommodations. Yeah, this is also a big reason why people don't report. Um, the So the tenant had nowhere to go and, uh, and stayed in the property. So 
maybe with children, you know. Um, another, uh, unfortunately, another issue, uh, big issue tenants are facing, uh, some landers engage in discrimination. Uh, we can see an article here, one of many. Um, discrimination could be either based on race, religion, gender, or other characteristics. Uh, this is illegal and, of course, creates an hostile environment for the affected tenants. Um, let's read about this uh, uh, poor lady. Um, she said that uh, um, apparently she had to fake that she wasn't of color and um, even a shocking reference in an email, uh, he explicitly started talking about how dark my skin was like. Oh, absolute joke. Um, so, yeah, so imagine the uh, immigrants or people uh, of color, different religion, uh, how they might be feeling intimidated, you know, and they're feeling like uh, um, under a lot of pressure. Um, so in some cases, land is also rent, rent prices beyond general inflation. Um, if the property is in a rent pressure zone or without proper notice, leaving tenants struggling to make ends meet and uh, at risk of homelessness. So um, uh, we can see here another uh, type of discrimination. Uh, so I was pretty shocked to see um, this article. Um, 60% of the rent increases notice were invalid. It's an absolute enormous figure. Um, let's, uh, let's explain what is a, a rent pressure zone for those who don't know, for those who are uh, maybe just arrived in Ireland or um, thinking of moving to Ireland. Um, the rent pressure zone is a designated area where rent cannot be increased by more than general inflation. Um, as recorded by the harmonized index of the consumer price. Uh, any rent increase in uh, an RPZ called RPZ cannot exceed general inflation uh, and the rent previously set. So the rent cannot increase by more than 2% per year uh, where inflation is higher. Uh, so I know it's a bit it's a bit complex. It's not just inflation. So it's is of course the uh, um, a, a kind of a new index um, that they came up with. Um, lately, is just I think the yeah definitely two percent uh, more than the previous rent. Um, so um, I was uh, I was uh, yeah reading this article again uh, with a lot of reports. Uh, um, you need to be aware of the uh, RTB that I was mentioning earlier. So uh, if you're a tenant in Ireland uh, dealing with a bad landlord, you need to take these steps. Uh, it's important that you know your rights and responsibilities, uh, and uh, this is a great place to start. Um, uh, if you need to resolve uh, um, a dispute with the landlord, and uh, just to know your rights uh, uh, and don't be intimidated. Um, I know it's hard, but uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, you, you don't have to put up with these things. Uh, so the RTB is a government body responsible for regulating the re rental market in Ireland. It provides information and support in theory for both tenants and landlords. Some landlords are complaining that mm, they don't really help um, when they're facing bad tenants, but that would be um, um, for another video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video and would like to receive more informative and helpful responses, consider subscribing to our channel. You will get notified of our latest updates and can learn something new every day. Click the subscribe button now and join our community.